Every index has seen bull markets and bears over the years. Bitcoin some saw both a bull and a bear in the same day. The digital currency fell 2% after wild swings on Wednesday. You could tell, just look at the graph. Now, look, the graph is pretty much in a one-way direction. It's up a thousand percent this year alone. Uh, Nolan Barley joins me now, the director of research at Coindesk. L looking at that graph, what happened this year that <clears throat> Bitcoin? A number of things. I think people are talking about it more and they've clued in really that it's a hedge against monetary policy. That's been a really important thing. We just had a research report come out a few days ago called the State of Blockchain and it showed that most people who use Bitcoin really see it as a hedge against monetary policy. How can it be a hedge against monetary policy when it experiences such volatility in its own right? Well, it's a hedge because no one controls it, right? You have monetary policy, quantitative easing. We just had a guest on earlier that said $30 billion of quantitative easing in Europe. You've got capital controls over in China. You've got Japan and its addiction to quantitative easing. And those people want to save money. And all of a sudden, their savings are being diluted. So it's very easy to buy Bitcoin. And it's not going to be affected by these policies and the unintended consequences that come with them. At the moment, what we are seeing in the Bitcoin market, though, is pure speculation, which I define as being an investment purely on the basis that other people will follow in to push the price higher, as opposed to a company which might have better earnings. I wouldn't say that. I would say that, so even take a look at the security model of Bitcoin. It's called anti-fragile. The more it's attacked in a security sense, the stronger it becomes. That's a quality of cryptography. Uh, what we're seeing is the same kind of feedback loop with the value of it. The more times it's criticized, the more executive action taken against it, the more people talk about it, the more people criticize it, the more they talk but about it, the more no they understand. Right, but then it's but, but there's nothing underpinning it, that growth, other than what you've just said. People talking about it. I mean, look, I'm not suggesting, you know, if you take the dollar, you've, it's, it's backed by the, the full faith and predicate of the U.S. It used to be backed by gold or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. But this mm -hmm. is backed purely by a belief that this is going sure. to be good. So you had the full faith and credit, which was totally taken away in India last year when they had the demonetization. We saw Bitcoin immediately trade at a premium in India. We're seeing it behave as a crisis currency in Venezuela, in uh, Nigeria, in Zimbabwe. When these countries can't get a grasp on their own monetary policy, people flood to Bitcoin. Except when you see something go up by a thousand percent in a year, then it becomes unruly. And the one thing you don't really want with an investment is it to become unruly. But this is a complete paradigm shift on something that comes to cryptography, an extremely powerful and potent uh, technology that's been around since World War II in, in, the, in the way we see it today. You know, it used to be only used by state actors. We had it uh, after Turing and all those great things that, it, that, that they did. Then it became a, a business uh, where you traded your mother's maiden name and your dog's name and a company did cryptography for you. But Bitcoin is the widest, most important deployment of cryptography to individuals in the history of the world. I think maybe I'm just cross with myself that I didn't even put five pounds. We all are. You know, we all I mean, I think are. that's really it. We all want to that's put it. more. We all do. You know, I didn't put a penny in Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are, I think. It doesn't sound like you are. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Pleasure, Richard. Good to see you, sir. Yeah. Pleasure. Now, in fact, talking, I wrote about Bitcoin in this week's um, newsletter. Just go to cnnmoney.com slash quest to subscribe.